Hello, welcome to our latest video bulletin update. I'm Kevin Cleary and I'm going to talk to you about our quality improvement project. I'm Jonathan Warren and I'm going to give you some fantastic news about this year's patient survey. One of the things that um, staff say to me is that they have very little say over what happens uh, within the service and that the quality of the service that they're providing uh, is dictated really by what happens centrally, what happens at the Department of Health, what happens at a regional level. We're going to try a fundamentally different approach. What we're aiming to do is to nurture a culture of continuous improvement. What we want to stop is the feeling that staff have that they don't have any control over the quality improvement programmes that we have because these have been set centrally. Rather, we want staff from a bottom up to be able to look at the quality of the services that they have been provided and for them to make the changes that they need to to ensure that our patients and service users are receiving the highest quality of care. Everyone will have a part to play in this project. No matter whether you're working in admin or clinical frontline services or in a managerial role, that you will be part of improving quality for the care that we provide to our patients and service users. We're going to train our staff in specific methods for improving quality. We're going to use various means of making sure that this is communicated to people reliably, but also to support teams uh, in communicating with each other. I think one of the things which is quite striking is that we may have very good work going on in one part of the trust, but another team doing very similar work in another area doesn't get to hear about that at all. Thanks for listening and we'll keep you updated as we go forward. Today I want to talk to you about four things. The patient survey, the friends and family test, the pilot work we've been doing around involving patients in the appraisals of our nurses and the HSJ awards of which we've been nominated for two. But first, the fantastic news about the patient survey. Overall, our survey was by far the best in London and we think about the seventh best in the country. So really on behalf of myself and the rest of the executive team, it's a really big thank you for the work that you've been doing uh, to make our patients feel so pleased with the, the care that you are offering them. If you want to see the results of the patient survey, they're published on the internet, but they're also on the CQC website where you can see the comparisons between this trust and all the other trusts in the country. As you all know, the friends and family test has been used in the acute side for nearly two years now, and there's been significant publicity about it, both in those areas and trusts that did really well and those that have struggled a little bit with it. We have been asked, and I have agreed on behalf of the trust, to be a pilot site for the mental health and community care friends and family test. It's going to be compulsory from 2015, but we're going to really shape how it will look by that time. Another area where we're really at the leading edge is involving patients in appraisals. This has had particular relevance with the NMC's announcement about revalidation for nurses, where this is going to be part of that package. So again, we want to really influence the national debate and I need to hear your thoughts on the, on the processes as we go forward. The first 100 nurses have completed theirs and their results are going out to them as we speak. So if you're one of those nurses, please let me know how the process has gone and whether you've found it useful or not. And then I can let the NMC know so that we can have a really valuable revalidation process for all nurses working within mental health and community care. And finally, some more great news. We've been shortlisted for two of the prestigious HSJ awards. Firstly, for the Apprentice Band 6 programme, and secondly, for the Hope Wall project uh, in all the inpatient units. So well done to those, and fingers crossed uh, that they go on and win the, win the awards. So thanks again for taking the time to watch and listen to this. And most importantly, thanks for all the work that you do every day that you come into work looking after our patients. Keep an eye out for the latest news on the internet and please drop me a note as ever if there's anything that you want me to know about. Thank you.